Hi, uh, my name is Cynthia R. Lewis, and I am a medically retired correctional officer, gang coordinator, and counselor for the state of California. And I got injured on the job several times, and they forced me into retirement. I'm 69.9% disabled. But even before that, when I was 15, my left leg went paralyzed, and I lost the feeling in my right leg. And the doctors couldn't figure out what was wrong with me. They said it was similar to multiple sclerosis, but that's not what it was. And so they said it was all in my head, and they sent me home, and I had to learn <coughs> to walk again. And I never got all of my strength back. And then uh, while they were doing the injuries as a correctional officer, I have a herniated disc, bone spurs, sprain and strain. I injured my neck, which they never treated, and I have a deteriorated kneecap, which they said I really need a new kneecap, but there's no guarantee for the kneecap, and a lot of times they have to keep doing it over and over, so I don't want to get that done. And uh, then they wanted to give me all these pain pills that I had to sign these forms for, and I was like, no, because I was already having trouble with my stomach, and they said I was getting like an ulcer-type condition, a tag and mouth, and all the side effects with the medication, it wasn't helping me, and I like to get to the bottom of the root of the problem and try to heal it. If I can't heal it, I try to do it medicinally healing. You know, I look for things that God has created that man hasn't tampered with, because God don't have the issues that men have, you know, God is about love and about healing, and he gives us everything that we need. So I'm in pain, like, all the time. And if you're a person that's not in pain all the time, you don't understand what a person goes through. And I don't understand why I can't do, I can't take something that God has created that man hasn't tampered with. And I don't understand why man thinks that he can heal a person better than God. You know, I don't understand why the government took out a patent on cannabinoid cannabinoid in 2000, October 2003, if there's nothing beneficial about this, this cannabis, then why is the government taking out a patent? That, that tells you right there that there's something very potently powerful about this medication. And I'm sure there's a lot more benefits to it as we go along, we will see what those are. They're worried about that being a gateway drug. I've, I've been smoking since I was 19, I'll be 54. I don't use that other nonsense. That is man-made, that is not healing. I use holistic things that were created by God that man does not tamper with because God always does it better. So our country needs this money anyway. So let's take it out of the street, folks, and let's put it in a clean, safe, healthy environment, and let's regulate it, and let's be responsible about it. And I'm not going to stop you from taking your medication with the side effects, even if you want to take the one with the side effect of death. That's your business. But please don't tell me what I can use to heal myself, especially when God made it, okay? Don't tell me that. Sorry, don't, please, don't tell me that. But I will continue to use. So you can either get revenue from it or you cannot. It's up to you. Thank you for your time. Peace.